Hey everybody, it's Next IT Justin here today, and I'm going to be talking about how Sentinel One compares against some of the other big players in the industry. Uh, you know, at Next IT, we love using Sentinel One. Uh, sometimes people think maybe we just pick this out of the blue, or maybe there's some sort of incentive we had. I understand, but we really thought through which partner was going to be best. So. I'm just going to simply walk through the Sentinel One platform with the comparisons that they've done, and I'm going to talk to you, uh, kind of from my perspective, you know, what some of these words mean and uh, how I've seen this work in real life. So, the number one that people usually see is called CrowdStrike. Uh, CrowdStrike is a very popular EDR solution. Uh, EDR means endpoint detection and response uh, for business owners out there. Think of, think of this, back in the day it used to be Kaspersky, McAfee, Norton, these would be like your antiviruses of days old. Now, things like Sentinel-1 and CrowdStrike, they use a lot more robust features. They don't have to wait for an update to be pushed by developers. Why I personally love Sentinel-1 is that all of it is AI based and it's being pushed out continuously. But kind of just doing a quick comparison here. Sentinel-1 on its own uh, is enterprise-wide visibility. Secure the entire enterprise with the industry's fastest AI-powered, open and truly unified platform that provides real-time protection and limitless scale. Now for CrowdStrike, it doesn't have that. It does legacy Falcon, Falcon for endpoint uses, different databases and requires architecture changes to manipulate data, resulting in messy normalization, fragmented visibility, and cover some management. For those of you who are not in IT, it's just saying that there's a little bit of difference in how clunky or not that this is. With Sentinel-1, because of its AI base and the engineers who created it started off building it with themselves, they're claiming that they have the fastest AI unified platform so you can scale it as you go. With CrowdStrike, you may run into problems as you try to update the software. You might run into problems about trying to get visibility, and it may be very hard for you to manage. You know, in my personal opinion, that could be because how CrowdStrike has grown. Look, they've been around for a long time. Both of these companies are public, and CrowdStrike has a lot of different developers working on it uh, from different seasons and different times. Sometimes as you continue to grow, it's impossible to keep that seamless, flawless feel. I've noticed with Sentinel-1, whenever I'm doing an update, whenever I'm applying it to a customer, or whether my teams who work here on security operation centers, they're able just to smoothly see everything. So I would have to say I agree with this one on Sentinel-1, definitely a winner. Uh, the next one is about the architecture. Durable and lightweight agent keeps you up and running. Uh, modern agent built for today's threats. Kernel access is limited to provide visibility and anti-tampering measures only. All changes occur in user space. Built-in AI tools to stop threats. Kernel updates, limited version updates, which are via Microsoft's signaling process, and subject to canary release testing. Efficient and transparent resource utilization. Now, the architecture for CrowdStrike, what they're claiming. It's saying that they believe CrowdStrike has risky architecture, and it makes you choose between security and stability. That doesn't sound good to me. Rigid logic rules require frequent updates. Ancient antivirus architecture leans heavily on definition updates and IOCs to keep up with threats. Protection coverage irrelevant without cloud connectivity. Direct cloud to kernel updates, contrary to Microsoft's best practices, and introduce unmitigatable risk to consumer environments and change windows, leading to either compromises on security or stability. Heavy kernel consumption obfuscated by hiding updates in the kernel. Okay, so to put that simply, once again, the way that it's built, and this is something that I felt with them, is Sentinel One was built by developers from the ground up who specialized in AI with CrowdStrike, built still by developers, probably some of the best in class but because of maybe where some of these new developers came in or the way that it was built from the foundation up, the rules and logic that it has to apply 
can be a little bit clunky. It can be hard to use. It can be hard to manage. Um, for your day-to-day -day business owner, you know, you're not going to notice this a lot in, in what you have. This is something maybe your IT team would notice or your security operation team or your cybersecurity team. These are things that really matter to IT people. Hey, how, how much visibility can I have into my customer's network? How quickly can I update? How quickly can I push things that I need done immediately? Do I have to go through uh, support? Does that support take long? When we're responding to real-time threats, we need the fastest support with the quickest service. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely agree with Sentinel-1 there. I haven't had enough experience in CrowdStrike to know if those things are facts, but I could see that if there's hard logic rules that you have to frequently update, not only would this be a nightmare for me <laughs> trying to work with you, uh, it would definitely be a nightmare to the end users because you'll have to be restarting your computer, you might be in the middle of a meeting, there could be an emergency update, and then all of a sudden you're doing a presentation and have to restart, I'm going to definitely say that Sentinel-1 wins there. So performance, this is, this is the more uh, fun pieces for me. So as you can see here, I'm going to have a link to this uh, in the description. You'll be able to see some of these things. The technique detection, signal to noise ratio, mean time to detection, and updates, configuration, changes, and delays. So I'm not going to go into every one of these things here, but here's what really matters to me, and I just touched on it. If you go to the bottom, it shows that CrowdStrike has had to have 25 updates, configuration changes, and delays compared to Sentinel-1's zero. That is phenomenal. That's unbelievable. Imagine having to update your employees or your end users, if you're an IT director watching this, 25 times, whether that's in a month, a year or even three years that's 25 times where your IT coordinator your IT director your CTO reaches out to the users and says that there must be an update pushed or that CrowdStrike pushes an update to your device not good not healthy Sentinel-1 itself had zero that alone for the amount of time saved for the amount of updates that you didn't have to do is a great reason to purchase this. Look, I'm one of the least intelligent technicians here at Next IT, and I'm ex I'm actually feel good about that. I talk to some of our people who have come from all sorts of backgrounds, corporate, IT, you name it, and they all tell me that Sentinel One is very refreshing because of how easy it is to deploy and how quick it is to use. Our end users. And your end users, if you use Sentinel-1, will not have to constantly be updated about Sentinel-1. A real winning platform, in my opinion, should be a platform that your employees don't even know about. Look, as I continue to go into different videos, and I'll talk about how Sentinel-1 compares to other uh, users as well, or other platforms, the thing that I know is this. Sentinel-1 still has not had a ransomware event. To all of their users and they manage hundreds of thousands of endpoints maybe millions they offer a million dollar guarantee to customers that if a, a company can get ransomware and lose their data while using sentinel one they can give you up to a million dollars and then all of these real nuanced pieces here about how autonomous it is and and all the meantime to detection those are some of the things that really get into the weeds for some of the higher level technicians and maybe you as an IT director. So I'm going to link this into, into you here so you can understand. You can get a free demo from Sentinel-1. I'm not going to make any money off you getting a free demo at Sentinel-1. Um, I just want to kind of educate you and the public about what the differences are. You know, for me, I really love Sentinel-1 because of all the things I told you. Please read up on Sentinel-1. It's trusted by a lot of different people. If you're using CrowdStrike now, Although, look, I love Sentinel-1, I'm not going to say that you're in a bad place with CrowdStrike. Despite it having the need to do a lot of updates, CrowdStrike is still a really significant competitor in the market. I just know, based off the inside information that I've seen from Sentinel-1 and their team, that they're by far the best in the industry, and that you can rest assured that you're not going to get ransomware. Well, anyways, 
you know, my name's Justin. I'm just here to educate the public on some of the softwares out there for IT and cybersecurity. Uh, I'm, a, I'm part of a company called Next IT. We're mainly located in Orange County, California, but we have nationwide customers everywhere from Orange County, California to even in the Netherlands. Uh, we've been here well over 14 years now, since 2008. And what we really focus on is the customer service. We have about 400 five-star reviews now on Yelp and Google. Uh, check out our website, it's nxt-it.com. We've been featured in different uh, publications. But here's the thing, we at Next IT don't just want to do the service. As you can tell, I said I'm the least intelligent tech here. We want to bring you expertise, we want to bring you knowledge, and we really care about our customers. If you're part of the family at Next IT, whether you're an owner of a company, or a president, or even if you're an IT director or manager, we have a lot of our clients that we actually co-manage partnership with. We're here to make you shine, we're here to make you better. Hopefully this in, uh, informational tool that I'm giving you about Sentinel-1 versus CrowdStrike was informative, and I look forward to talking to you on the next video.